Hello guys and welcome to my channel Decoding Channel. Today we are going to see uh, how to get or how to retrieve our contacts from the database. So first of all we are going to add a new file inside our projects. We, we are going to name it get contacts point php so now we are going to add the php code to get contacts first of all we are going to include the file that includes the connection to our database which is named connection one php which is this one we added here after we are going to uh, add the query so the query is select all from uh, contacts we select all the contacts from the table contacts then we check if we add a variable which is named uh, results we check if we execute the query we add connection and query so if the query is executed we are going to define a variable which is i and another array which will contains the contacts that we retrieve then we are going to use a loop which is while and we see uh, we add another variable which is named row and uh, we use function which is fetch a sock to retrieve all the all the data all the records as array and then we are going to add every uh, every uh, field inside the contact array that we that we added here we add id and I'm going to copy and paste same thing here here we have the ID next we have name same thing here name and after I'm going to add tell and tell and don't forget to increment the, the I uh, just to add all the records to our contacts array and finally we are going to send data as json we are using json encode to display data as json now we add the the, the, the file and we add the code to get or to receive all the old contacts we can check here uh, the results that we are going to get we are going to get an array of json objects now that we get our data from the database we are going to uh, try to display it so first of all we are going to go back again to our file which is main main uh, js which is this one that we added here next we are adding methods here in Vue.js all the methods are going to be here first method is get contacts so here in get contacts we are go we are going to use axios axios point get and we are going to give the the, uh, the the url to get the contacts here we give the file name which is get contacts.php then then we are going to get the response so for the response we are going to to have all the all the contacts that we have in our table in the response so we are going to add 
I forget to add uh, here. I'm going to change this one. I'm going to add contacts. And I, it's an empty array. I forgot to add an empty array. This empty array will include contacts that we are going to get from the database. So I can add this point contacts, which means which means this contact array, and I give it the response points data. The response is the contacts we get. Then we can have catch if we have something wrong. We can just console and log the error. So this is our uh, first function, which is get contact. Uh, now I have old contacts here, but I need just to display them. I can remove this one. I remove this one because uh, I no longer have uh, a message to show. Now we are going to add uh, our... So I don't know if... Uh, just check the time. Now it's, it's just six minutes. I'm going to add the, the table where we are going to show the, the contacts. First of all, we are going to add active with class container. Next. We are going to add uh, plus row empty for just a margin top four and another div with class call empty uh, eight and mx auto, which will make the table censored. Then we are going to add div with class of card class of card and inside class I can give it a border primary and uh, inside class we have the card body class card body after that we are going to add the our table the table we can give it a class and this class is going to be table and table hover like this. Next, we are going to add the head and inside the head, we are going to add a class or just, just, we can leave it as it is. Next, we add the R and the each. We have here the name, next we have the phone, and next we have actions, which means update or delete. Next we have the body. Inside the body, we are going to display our data. So for this we use v4, which is the loop, and we can get contact and the index. We are going to use the index as a key because because uh, in Vue.js we must have uh, or, or we must bind a key to all the when we are using a loop when we are using a loop so we say the four contacts in contacts which is this uh, so no, not here, which is this array, which contains the contact that we get. Next, next we add the R, and here we bind the K, which is index. And inside we have the T, and here we display the contact name. And next we have contact tell and next next we will have the links to updates or delets so this is uh, our home page which will display 
all the contacts so I think I have something wrong here so the error was that I forget to add uh, when the component is created I need to call this function so I forget to call this function so that's why I did not get in a result here and nothing displayed so now I do have but something is wrong I forget to add to so the, the error was just I did forget to add this created so when the component is created we are going to call this function so I did forget to add it that's why I have nothing shown but I think that's but I have another error response from response here I don't know where is the response so here I have an error I will refresh the page now I have all my contacts here so just the error was here when I tried to console log the response so now we have our contacts here next we are going to try to add another or a new contact to our database so see you on the next episode uh, if you are uh, the first time watching uh, my videos try to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode